In this video, I am going to share how Jamboard helped me in surviving my first time to handle online classes. I am also going to show specific examples using Jamboard that I used in our synchronous and asynchronous meetings. Jamboard is an online collaborative tool provided by Google that we can use as a classroom whiteboard equivalent. I have a beginner's tutorial video about this tool which I uploaded several months ago. Back then, I thought that this is a great tool which can be used not only by teachers but also of students. The link of the tutorial can be accessed in the description box. By the way, last August 2020, Jamboard does an update on the tools that we can use. Since then, we now have the ability to add shapes and text boxes. We can also order those shapes and text boxes to layer them. I also created a tutorial about that update, which link can be accessed in the description box. And just this December, I noticed that we now have the ability to set an image as a background. This truly helped me in creating activities for my students since the templates are now locked into the frame. Let me now start the list as to how Jamboard saved me in my online classes. I prepared four of them. The first reason why I love Jamboard and why I said it saved my online classes is because I can use it to annotate my visual aids. For example, this is what I used for my lesson about computer ethics. I created this using Google Slides. To put this in Jamboard, I have to download it first by going to File tab, Download, then choose PNG. I go to my Jamboard by entering jam.new in the address bar. Here, I either upload the image or set it as a background. The advantage of making it a background is it will be locked into the frame so we don't have to worry of accidentally moving or deleting it. In here, I can add notes or comments while giving explanation about the topic. I can use the highlighter tool in emphasizing terms. The second reason is it allows students to have group discussion to produce ideas. To promote interaction among students while in online class, I usually hold group activities. I divide my class into several groups by using breakout rooms in Google Meet, then assign each group to specific frame in Jamboard. It will be best if students unmute their mic so they can share with each other what they are going to put in their assigned frame. For example, this was one of my activities which I called as 3 2, one strategy. I created this template in Google Slides. I will download it. In a new frame in Jamboard, I will set the template as a background. Then I get a sticky note in the toolbar and initially put the text name so students are prompted that they have to put their names here. I can press Ctrl D to duplicate and add the needed number of sticky notes equal to the number of members per group. I will go to the frames viewer area at the top of the screen to duplicate it so all the groups will have a copy. I will indicate that this is for breakout room number one, this is for number two, and so on. In this activity, students will use either text box or sticky note to come up with three things that they have learned from our lesson, two things that they would like to learn further, and one question regarding the material. The third reason is it can be used to easily get students' reactions on certain topics. For example, I have this activity where I asked my students to give their reactions after reading a news article. This template was also created in Google Slides. I will download it, then upload to Jamboard and set as a background image.
As the instruction says, each student shall pick one reaction that best explains their feedback to the article, and each reaction has a unique color. Each color corresponds to a specific response that students can choose from. I will add sticky notes here at the bottom. The number of sticky notes depend on how many students I have in the section. Each student can double click and change it with his or her actual name. Suppose I am the student. I will double click one of the sticky notes, then I'll change the color according to my reaction. This activity can also be used to double check students' attendance. The fourth reason is it can be utilized to check understanding of students regarding a topic. As an example, this activity was given during one of our asynchronous meetings. I also created this template in Google Slides. Let me download this first, then upload to Jamboard. I will set this as a background image. As the instruction says here, my students need to read a material, then should use sticky notes to provide an example of a cybercrime offense, its definition and penalty based on the lesson material. Aside from this example, we can also use Jamboard if we just simply want to know if students understood the topic right after the discussion. For example, this is the output of my students when I ask them to provide examples of information and communications technology devices. They used the insert or add image tool and stick a note to name their example. It's important to share the Jamboard file with the students who will use the frames. We can either enter the specific email address or change the permission to editor in the get link area. Take note that Jamboard will be more secured if only those who are required to work on the frames will have an editor access. Thank you for staying until this part of the video. I hope you got an idea what are the things that we can do using Jamboard. The examples I demonstrated earlier really helped me in surviving my first time to handle online classes. Please feel free to comment down below other activities using Jamboard that you have used and your students worked on. Your comment will be greatly appreciated and will surely help all of us. If you think this video is helpful, please like and share this to your friends. They might be in need of this information right now. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell to be updated when I upload a new video. Thank you for your support.